right, guys, we're we are back for another CC Nation news. And this one is on Miss Sarah Marie Bearded. Sarah Marie Bearden, born December 22nd, no, age 22, born December 14th, 1987 in Louisville, uh, passed into heaven in a car accident on May 24, 2010 at University of Louisville Hospital. She was preceding death by her grandfathers. She was a student at Spencerian College, majoring in radiology, and previously graduated from Jefferson Community College and Sacred Heart Academy in 06, and Mother Good Council in 02. She was employed by Baskin Robbins. I've been to that location. They have a t shirt there that has her name on it. Sarah was very proud to have recently completed her first mini marathon alongside her mother. She was a member of St. Bernadette Catholic Church. Sarah will always be remembered in the hearts and minds of all that knew her as a beautiful, funny, bright, and loving person. Her memory will be cherished by her parents, David and Jackie Bearden, sisters, Emily and Amanda, grandmothers, Jean K. Bearden, and Mary Jenny Johnson. 18 aunts and uncles, 30 cousins, and her dog, Peanut. The family like to thank the entire staff of the CCU University at Louisville Hospital for their care and support. Sarah's funeral mass was held at 10 a.m. Saturday, May 29, 2010, at St. Albert, the Great Catholic Church. She was uh, buried at Rest Haven Memorial Park, which is where my classmate Rana Barrier was buried at. I don't think it's a coincidence at all. There's a visitation held and family requested memorial gifts to the St. Bernadette Catholic Church Building Fund. We go to WLKY. A detective admits negligence in a $700,000 settlement of the Hearstborn crash. In a joint settlement, the Louisville Metro Police Department agreed to pay $700,000 to the state of a 22-year-old woman killed, three, killed in 2010 in a car accident involving a narcotics detective. For three years, the case has been in court with Sarah Barron's family and their attorney trying to show she wasn't at fault, but instead the speed and negligence of Officer James Adams led to her death. On Tuesday, her family got their wish with an admission by Adams. After three long years, we have done our investigation. We've done our deep, deep, deep depositions. We've done our part and learned a lot of answers about how this collision happened and why it happened, said Bearden family attorney Chad Gardner. It's the why that Gardner said led to a huge settlement. Alcohol didn't kill Sarah Bearden. Speed killed Sarah Bearden, Garner said. If Mr. Adams had been going the speed limit, he would have had time to stop twice before he hit her. In May 2010, Adams hit Bearden's car on North Hurstbourne Parkway as she was making a lap. Initially, Bearden's blood and alcohol level of 0.09% was called a question. Then her coming into the roadway. And there's investigation, a $700,000 settlement, various estate by LMPD and Metro government answered many questions. Adams wrote a letter to Beard's parents. It meant he was involved in a motor vehicle accident, resulting in death of a beautiful young lady, Sarah Bearden. He hopes that he's been able to hopefully give the Bearden some sense of comfort so that they can hopefully put this behind them. The thoughts and prayers are his. Parents attorneys agree, the officers must slow down when they're in their own vehicles, when they're in their marked company vehicles. They have to observe the speed limit just like the rest of us do here.
So I'm kind of familiar with this person, kind of familiar with this case. Don't know all the details, but it is a tragic news case I had to uh, uncover. Uh, I've been to that Baskin Robbins, seen, seen her shirt, has her name. I've been to that cemetery, middle of the area. Maybe I'll find her. Who knows? But uh, this has been CC Nation News. We'll see you guys later.